So I want to remember to remind people, this is how CNN reported when Joe Rogan got sick because they wanted to make him look like a kook because uh, he was telling people a counter narrative to the covid bullshit that was coming out of the government and Fauci. And so they had to discredit Joe Rogan and CNN, which gets all their money from Big Pharma, decided to pretend make him look sicker than he actually was. Joe Rogan beat COVID in like two days. Uh, and that pissed people off because you're going against our narrative. And how is Big Pharma going to make forty five billion dollars in five minutes? So uh, I want you to, I want you to remind you of this. This is what happened on uh, Joe Rogan's show when they were talking about ivermectin. But this, the point is, that's a lie. It can be used for humans. I, I get it. I, it totally... Not just could be used for humans, is often used for humans along with all the other drugs I took, all human drugs. Yes. They know it's a human drug. It's, it's, a, it can, it's right. But and the, they lied. The thing It's I, defamatory. It, it is. It is uh, yeah, they shouldn't have done that. It's I get, defamatory, right? Well, I don't know if it's defamatory. I bet it is. Yeah, well, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. It's but, a lie. I'm well, not even a real see, doctor. Here's the thing. It, it, can we, you can have nuanced <laughs> discussions about this. <laughs> no, right? you can't. Yeah, you, can. you can't have nuanced discussions about lying about someone taking horseshoe armor. There was no glee, by the way, from, from her. She well, was, I, I don't think any, watch her. Anyone takes, uh, anyone takes people's illness. Oh, I, yes, they do. They don't want you, you to get stop sick, it. Joe. Yes, they do. They, they want were you upset to get sick. that I got healthy. I, I, the, the, that's one thing they, they didn't report on, the fact that I was negative five days later. And working out six days later. Well, six days after infection, I was back at the gym. I am glad. Felt great. I'm glad you, you do. I really Me am. Too. I, I think Thank you. Most of the people. I'm glad you're I, glad. You're a nice guy. Most of the people <laughs> I know, I think, would be glad that you. I don't think that there was any. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that weren't glad. But my point is, you're working for a news organization. If they're lying about a comedian taking horse medication, what are they telling us about Russia? What are they telling <sighs> us about Syria? Do you, not, do you understand that that's why people get concerned about the veracity so you get it so they're all lying and now there's a bill to make it illegal to debunk those lies or for even a doctor to try to use off patent medicines to treat someone with the with a novel virus so this is a bill in california did you write jokes for this keith yeah <laughs> Yeah, I said. I don't know. Call him pay. Keith. I called him Keith. Fair I called enough. you Bert. Kerb. It's better than Kerb and, <laughs> and Keith today. <laughs> Might be on your phone because I think. No, I got it. it. Oh. Uh. So, doctors have already found themselves. So, proposed California bill threatens to revoke doctors' licenses for contradicting state messaging. Doctors have already found themselves suspended for their social media posts about COVID. This is by uh, Didi Rankovic at Reclaim the Net. And it's called You're Not a Doctor, Bill. As in, why are you going against the narrative? Are you a doctor? Oh, you are? Well, not anymore, you're not. <laughs> in California, work is underway by lawmakers described by some as Orwellian, to push two new COVID bills, one that would deal with misinformation around the epidemic and the virus coming from doctors. One bill is about misinformation coming from doctors. And the other, whose goal is to promote censorship by internet platforms. You know, I think we got to stop calling things Orwellian because it, it makes them more attractive to the establishment. <laughs> really, this is Orwellian? What we're doing? This is Orwellian? Wow, no kidding. What else did Orwell say? That guy had some great ideas. <laughs> uh, critics say that the motive behind the Assembly Bill 2098, introduced by two Democrats, is to prevent doctors from speaking freely, whether about COVID treatment or on issues directly affecting their patients. Jesus. That's how science works, though, right? You suppress speech from doctors. I mean, that's how science works. Science oh. doesn't work by questioning it and challenging it. Science works by shutting up and accepting things. They can't speak freely on issues that directly affect their patients. Like, that's like part of what was bad about the Tuskegee experiments. Like, <laughs> that, they didn't tell their patients things that directly affected them. <laughs> that would be that would be one of the things. 
Oh, hang on, I gotta. Okay. California Assembly Bill 2098 was introduced by Evan Lowe with the goal of stopping doctors, physicians, and surgeons from speaking in favor of the benefit of COVID treatment using some off-label drugs and from questioning the vaccine safety. That's... Isn't it unusual at all? It isn't unusual at all for a medication intended to cure one condition to then be found to also help treat something else. Like Viagra was originally a heart medication, and then they found out it gave you boners. That, like that. This is not a secret or a controversial topic at all, except when it comes to COVID. This has been done since the beginning of medicine. When you have a, a new, you, you're allowed to use approved medicines to see if they treat something else. It's called practicing medicine. Yeah, but you, you go can't to school do, for it. You go to school for it. <laughs> well, you can't do that now when it comes to COVID. Why? Because big pharma owns our government. That's why. I, you know, uh, Propecia, back when I gave, gave a shit about my hair still, Propecia, the sucker way to buy it was to buy Propecia. And any doctor that was gave a shit about you at all will go, hey, here's Finasteride, the generic. You split it into fourths. You're getting four times the amount for the price. Only had two doctors that were like, what? Like every single doctor did that. And I'll bet you because a dollar a pill for those Propecia. Right. And now it's being brought down. Like, I'm sure this is a big bonus to the misinformation thing. So, so they say this is not a secret to do this, to take medicine and use it for another purpose. It's not a secret, and it's not controversial at all. It isn't unusual at all for this to happen. So it's not unusual, and that's why it's got to be stopped. We're losing money. <laughs> yeah. So there, from mainstream media to the federal government, the suppression of the use of off-label drugs in early COVID treatment has been ongoing for two years. We've talked about this because they were afraid if there was ever a drug that could treat COVID, they wouldn't be able to get their emergency authorization for the vaccines. So that's why there was, they were afraid that ivermectin might be, might be proven at some point to treat it, and that's why they had to discredit it so hard before they knew if it worked or not. So despite um, there from mainstream media to the federal government, the suppression of the use of off-label drugs in early COVID treatment has been ongoing for two years, despite evidence of their benefits and state level attempts, such as what happened in Florida to allow their use. Now he's talking about monoclonals. Now monoclonals is an early treatment that has been approved and they don't tell you about it and they try to restrict it. That's what he's talking about here. That's an early treatment for COVID. That's 80% effective, up to 80% effective. They don't tell you about that. They don't tell you about vitamin D3. They don't tell you about zinc. They don't tell you about uh, fluvoxamine. They don't tell you about any of that stuff. And they lied and made you think that ivermectin was horse poison. But in California, the new proposed bill considers doctors who are exploring these options to be disseminating misinformation and conducting themselves unprofessionally. The proposed bill even justifies itself by quoting unnamed major news outlets who have concluded that the most dangerous spreaders of COVID misinformation are healthcare professionals. Holy shit! So now the news, people like Sanjay Gupta and Brian Stelter and liars like, quote, Chris Cuomo and Jake Tapper are going to tell you that doctors need to be censored. Healthcare providers, they're the worst. We got to have some non-doctors telling them what to say. And what non-doctors would that be? The ones from Big Pharma, probably. <laughs> I'll bet they regret saving those masks for all those ungrateful healthcare professionals. <laughs> <laughs> the proposed bill... Oh, wait, we already did that. Another thing that the bill aims to stop is doctors telling their patients that if they have acquired natural immunity, they don't need to get the vaccine as well. What? Yeah. 
If passed, the law would lead to disciplinary measures by the Medical Board of California or the Osteopathic Medical Board of California. Uh, here's, here they are talking about natural immunity. Guess who gets it right? Is it the doctor from CNN who wants to silence other doctors? Or is it the guy, the comedian, who announces guys fighting in cages? Let's see. But, but, but what? But uh, so, so for you... Joe Rogan. Yes. I would say you've had it. Yes. So now get one shot of the vaccine. No. Why not? Because I have better immunity than I would if I was vaccinated. We, so right? Yes. Don't I? I think your immunity is really good. So why, if I've already gotten through COVID and I was really only sick for a day, and then five days later I was negative, I, and I do have the natural antibodies now, why would I take a chance in getting vaccinated on top of that? By the way, I'm glad you're, you're, you're better. I'm Thank glad you. it only lasted a day. You're probably really the only am. one at CNN that's glad. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. The rest of them are all lying. So there's Joe Rogan schooling the doctor on natural immunity. That would be – so if a doctor said what Joe Rogan said, which is actually true because here it is, having SARS-CoV-2 once confers much greater immunity than a vaccine, Israelis who had an infection were more protected against the Delta coronavirus variant than those who had an already high effect, highly effective COVID-19 vaccine. That's from Science Magazine. So Joe Rogan knew the science better than Dr. Sanjay Gupta. To Dr. But that would Sanjay, be, yeah. Go ahead. His, to his credit, he did ask Fauci on CNN. So he, uh, about here it is. <laughs> so then after Joe Rogan schools Dr. Fauci, I don't know if this is actually the timeline, but here, here it happens. There was a study that came out of Israel about natural immunity. And basically the headline was that natural immunity provides a lot of protection, even better than the vaccines alone. Um, how, what, are, what are people to make of that? So, so as we talk about vaccine mandates, there are, I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID. I'm protected. And now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone. Should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really <laughs> firm answer for you on that. Because I don't want to actually say that's true because my big pharma sponsors will fucking kill me. <laughs> I mean, metaphorically. <laughs> Dr. Fauci, what do I tell Joe Rogan? Well, uh, you just look at him and say, I don't really have an answer. Or change the subject and uh, uh, yeah. say, you're glad he's feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> so that, if you questioned that, that would be illegal with this new California bill. So I just want to, so people are like, hey, why did, because I, I spoke at that uh, defeat the mandate rally and people are like why are you doing that it's all over anyway it's not over that there's a that's a those are bills that are still in the california legislature and that big pharma you know are sponsoring the people who they are writing them. those that's that, right they probably wrote it themselves and gave it to those to that uh, representative in california california super majority democrats and they're all dumber than chuck todd they uh, probably have it handed to them <laughs> so and again nobody nobody uh, put it this way, almost nobody on the left who has a YouTube show, which is here to debunk the establishment media, has uh, done a serious critique of any of this. They won't do a critique of any of this. They just tell you exactly, because why? Because they're scared. And then they're afraid. And why do I not care? Because I don't come from fucking bullshit corporate news like they all do. Or they all want to be in. Because I come from comedy where I spent 30 years sticking my chin out and getting it fucking kicked in. So I'm not afraid to have that happen. So I can tell you the truth about the COVID narrative and about this guy who should be in fucking prison. <laughs> and they'll never tell you that. Fauci should be in prison. I saw him lie to Congress twice myself. He should have been in prison over the shit he did over AIDS. Let alone this. Um... That's it. Anything you want to say, Kurt, to this? 
Well, Fauci's from an older time of lies when they were class. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing live stand-up shows in Cleveland, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Des Moines, Omaha, Kansas City, Las Vegas, all over the country. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. And single tickets now available at all venues. So if you tried to buy one before and you couldn't, single tickets are now available. Plus, while you're at JimmyDoreComedy.com, why don't you become a premium member? Sign up to our mailing list so when they cancel us, we can still stay in touch. Mm -hmm.